like sad under the skin. I saw this and I was really intrigued. I thought it would be a lot of fun to play. And so, uh, I guess just sit back, watch and enjoy it, maybe grab some popcorn. Straight into it, okay. Can I see what's going on here? And dang. Hasn't even noticed yet. There it is. Are we in his office? What is that? John? I think that's a Sometimes John. when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of a civilized person I used to be. Where is that damn <laughs> detective? I'm gonna rip his head off. I swear I'll tear his eyes out. Hey! Oh. Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? What pictures? Uh, what are you talking about? What kind of pictures are you looking for exactly? You know which ones. Me and a lady. Two days ago. Ah. Uh. Curious, are you? Plenty of things you could learn through. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> <What's that? laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't seem too enthusiastic there. Oh, oh I wrote. Whoops. <laughs> this controller's weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's retry that and said him snapping my neck. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Come on, go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Give me the goddamn pictures! Get off me! Yeah, Brian, dang, that's strong. Uh, punch. <laughs> but at least I'm not enough time to aim at soft spots. Go to the neck! What a detective. Okay. Give me that. Oh man, you broke my jaw. <laughs> well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. Mm -hmm. You'll ruin my life. Please. Yeah, let's go for that. Sure, the gun didn't work, so why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. I've sure. never shot a fly, and uh -huh. I'm no two timer either. It only happened once, for God's sake. I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love my wife, honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, she, that didn't work. Uh, boop. Look, you protect that girl, and I spy on people like you. We all have to be professional, no matter how sick it makes us at times. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures. And tell her a white lie, and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Deal? For as long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. No deal. <laughs> You're only making things worse. You better leave before I lose it. Look, partner. I've been asking about you. You're a good detective, but I know you've seen better days. You've had nothing but crappy cases lately. True, like true. Like this one. I'm offering you a way out. Money can go a long way, you know. You could try running some ads. Maybe you'll find better clients What's and well-paid oh. gigs. You know, start all over? Come on, think about it. You can save my family and save yourself. Mm, no deal. I warned you. 
I ain't taking more Okay, from now you. I'm officially about to lose my cool. Three. You son of a... Two. Wait, man, don't shoot! One. You are gonna regret messing with Eugene Colbert. I swear to God you will. We'll see about that. My Mr. uninvited Gene. guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a swollen hand. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's Oops. skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Sorry, dude, but we gotta Third, follow the law. The feeling that my moral compass was far I too guess. calibrated for my own good. Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. Who dead? You get ready. Crack He's the an ass You. Oh, snap! <laughs> Mm, whoops. You see what I said about my pal Black Sad? He doesn't even know you, and he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> Jake, okay. Oops. So, cat got your tongue, John? Good, because you need to listen to the lady. I brought you a client. Okay. Yeah. I like I like Jake. I think that's what his name was. I already forgot it. What do we got? What's the problem? Dang. How long is she talking for? Okay. And there that's why we need to find him soon, or we we will have a very serious problem. Hmm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. <laughs> Let me see if I have a straight. <laughs> wait, what? What is this? Used to navigate through different pictures, hotspots. Use select. Okay. Okay, so. A. Oh, okay, I see. You. What Your you? father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two days ago. Yes. Okay. Oh, that was, oh, okay. Got it. That was the guy. What about Bobby you? Yale, a boxer at Dunn's gym, has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago, right about the same time your father died. Yes. In uh -oh. short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Jake what? wants you to find Bobby. Why is that, Jake? Oh, I see. Well, first of all... Uh, let's do that one. I'm really sorry, Miss Dunn. Please accept my condolences. Thank you. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? I don't know, maybe. Ain't I will, cheap for sure. but we're talking about Madison Square Garden. The stakes are high, which can only mean things will get ugly behind the scenes. Not to mention pricey. Yes, Mr. Blacksad. If you find Yale and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask for. Sounds good. Let's do this. Where are we going? Huh? I apologize. I need to turn on the subtitles, but I need to figure out how to actually bring up the options in the first place.
and back into it. that kind of what are you Komodo dragon or something I love seeing all these animals it's, it's really cool though okay, okay where's mr. black sand I know you already went to Yale's apartment and found nothing, but I'll search it myself at some point. Okay. That cleaning lady, Miriam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body, she works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, and see what I can find. Are you this? No, you're not the same lady. Okay, I think I've got enough Are to you? start with for now. Oh, am I finally moving around now? Ah, yes. Okay, let's go back in here and check out and see if there's anything. Oh. Okay, fine, Mr. Grumpy. Uh, I better leave these two alone. Dang. Oh, looks like you... Okay. Hey, wait, hold on. I remember that fight. Back when Jake was coming up the ranks. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, let's me interact with this thing too. No, not that. The other thing. Yeah, Looks that. like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yale each year. Yeah. Sonia's measurements stop at 18. And there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Dang. Kind of left something there. <clears throat> what kind of secrets can we find? Ooh, what's this? I said, what's this? Whoa. Let's try that again. Is that done? Wow. Musician. You got it in the notes. Can I go upstairs? What do we got up here? Oh. <laughs> well, might as well check anyway and make sure. Uh, nope. Can I go up here? Mm, let me go. Man, it is like jittery. Let me go up here. Okay, I'm assuming not. This is a big old cat. Oh, what? Someone should weld the iron bar on those panels. Yeah. Yeah, they should. Broken glass, it looks like. Oh, it looks like you guys chill up here. What's going on? Champies. <laughs> Chocolate bar that is nutritional? Hmm. I don't know about that one. Too good to be true. If I uh, say anything about it. Yeah. Nope. Seems like a big waste of my time. Going back down. Let me close that door. It's some pretty art, though. I gotta say. Okay. Anything down here? What? What? The harder you train, the luckier you get. I wouldn't say lucky. If you train harder, I would assume just the better you get. But that would be too obvious, wouldn't it? No pain, no gain, no guts, no glory. Yep, indeed. Yeah, okay, same thing. Wasting my time. Wasting my time. I am a detective. Can't stop me. 
Red phone. Can I call the president? Ah. Chief Officer Smirnov. No call. Weekly. Rhinoceros wife. Ooh. Let's call the wife. See what happens. <laughs> For one minute, I thought he was gonna knock on the phone. <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Black Sad here. Please don't tell me my husband. Yes, he's cheating on you. Yes, Mrs. Corbin. Your marriage. I'm afraid you were right to hire me. Oh, that filthy good for nothing. I'm gonna rip his horn out. You do that. You're true to your word and you told me. Colbert's wife the truth. Uh, let's call Smirnov. Hello, Mr. Smirnov. Are you there? Well, what's the fun since we're here? Okay. Are you there? Mr. Smirnov. Oh, Joe Dunn. Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? What do you know about Dunn's death? I ain't telling you nothing. I'm just asking a simple question, Chief. Do you have any information on Joe Dunn's suicide? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work is here. <laughs> I haven't been able to assign an officer to that Joe Dunn suicide case. You haven't uh -huh. even heard of it. Uh, any business. I'm doing it. I'm not going to. You know I'm bound by client detective confidentiality privileges. And you know I'm bound by law enforcement confidentiality. Mm. If you find anything to start feeling a bit more talkative, give me a call. Always a pleasure, Joe. I don't know why you'd even ask for this job. That guy seems to have a very distinct voice. Um, uh, we'll leave now. Shink. Let's see. Punching bag? Nothing. Over here? Nothing. Oh, what does that say? When you're good... Uh, you know, I'll click on it this time. When you're good at making excuses. It's difficult to excel at anything else. Okay. Seems like a lot of these are very... Pointing out the obvious. What's that? What am I looking at? Hall of Fame. I... For some reason, cannot see what I'm looking at. It looks like a, a furry leg. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Okay, okay. Let's back out of here. What does that say? Success is dependent on effort. Yeah. What does that say? How rude. What does it say? I read Ernie somewhere on there. What are you <laughs> rubbing your hands on it? I ain't gonna do hmm, nothing. Locked, but a true detective never leaves home without his. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks. Ah, sure. Let's get the lockpicks. <laughs> Leave in shame. Nice car. Put out my own sound effects. Make the sound better. I'm up. I'm awake. God dang it, turn it off! Turn the stinking alarm off! My lord! Oh, it's the phone. <laughs> Ooh, is that a threat? You threatening me? Hmm. Is it I hope that wasn't a client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. I or think it was Mr. Rhino. Oh, the boy. War Veterans Therapy Group. Hmm. Huh. I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. You gave me my place, huh? You gave me dizzy, dude. Gotta look for the lockpicks now? God, you're so disorganized. I'd have this place spiffied up so fast. Police Commissioner Smirnov smoked that cigarette. Ah, oh, Smirnov, a German shepherd. You look... Super awesome. <laughs> Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. I don't see why. 
You have something to do with this Smirnoff? Smells good. Tasted even better the day Smirnoff brought it. In exchange for a favor. A uh, favor no uh. cop should ever be paid for. Oh, Smirnoff, what'd you do? You seem like you did something, Mr. Smirnoff. I solved the case. It's Smirnoff. I'm gonna stick with it, too. Oh, you're in the army, huh? Dang, you seem so happy back then. Now you seem so depressed. Why so sad, Mr. Sad? Where are my lockpicks? Where are they? Jeez, man. Clean up a little bit. Come on. There you go. What's that thing? What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? Uh-huh. What is that? You have it face down. Is it some kind of... What if the only oh. thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? So I take it you're with it. Remember? Mm, let's remember. It's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. Still not ready to forget to tell you. Aha, uh -huh. is that the one I saw in the newspaper? I think it was. Yeah, I can see it right now. Okay, um, well, I'm thinking my lockpicks are in here. Oh, no, that's where I put the revolver. Although I hope he never finds out I turned down a hefty bribe there. to keep quiet. <laughs> may possibly cut that out, so I'm sorry if you don't see it. I wonder if that rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. I'll just tell you guys, though, what was on that picture was just a little naughty, Mr. Rhino, not being too good of a husband. And that's, I guess I'll leave it at that. <laughs> probably just not risking, I'll probably just cut that part out. Hold on, hold on, I know, I'm walking back and forth. What is this? Drink like... Every de other detective. Pretend to drink. Let's pretend. Here's a tip for aspiring detectives. Pretend, pretend that booze is an issue. Clients love stereotypes. The truth? <laughs> I used tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. Oh. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, this music though. Yeah. Get him. Get like a hanger or something, dude. Grab the revolver. Um, what can I use to get those? Um, num, 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 num. what's on this thing? Sometimes I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. Fun. Okay. What can I use to get me those lockpicks? Seem like you got nothing on you, sad. Come on, you gotta have something that can help me here. Where is it? Can't go over there anymore. Can I leave the office? I won't leave without my lockpicks. Oh, okay. Persistent. What's here? There's a bunch of books. <coughs> oh, that works too. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that. God dang phone. Get the lockpicks first. Screw the phone. Of course, he had to call at the wrong time. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me? I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. Yeah, steps on the eye. Try to mess with you. Okay, okay, okay. What do you want? What do you want? No, don't go over there. Pick up the phone. Hello, what do you want? Where the hell did you go, John? I thought you won the case. Hey, hey, I'm clicking it. 
John. What happened? I, I, I was clicking the button. I got you this gig. You made a crappy impression. And now Sonia has second thoughts about you. You want to keep this job? Then He's behave the lock picks, man. Jeez. Yeah, screw you too. I just need the lock picks so I can do my job. Whoa. What's happening? <laughs> uh, no call. Donna Blacksad. Weak. Wait. That is mom or something? Donna Blacksad? Look at you, speedy fingers. Hello? Hello? Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... 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 Uh... Uh... uh I don't know. <laughs> that means I'm a detective. No way. My Uncle John is a real detective. And he's way cooler than you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you're Uncle John. Uncle John! I guessed it! I'm a detective, too. Mom! It's Uncle John! I guessed it! You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I lick? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want... A gun! Oh. Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang! Sure. All right. You've earned it. How about a toy gun? Come on, Uncle John. It's not fair. It's not fair. What's not fair? Oops. Mom's coming. Bye, Uncle John. Well, hey, you better run. Is that the way you say goodbye to your uncle? Oops. Love you, Uncle John. You sound adorable. What a surprise. How are you? Hey, Donna. Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not to. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, true, true. Kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. Hey, you gotta take One care of the teeth. That's fine. Ray, hurry up. We have to go. Have you heard from Dad lately? So that's his sister. Since his last letter. Same okay. Old, same I think. Old. Okay. Now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Bye, bye. Junk. Okay, got the lockpicks. Got a call. I had the one dude talk smack on me because I was not doing my job, but I was getting lockpicks, so I can do my job. What the heck, dude? Don't let me get my trench coat. Always got the trench coat. Mm, okay, can't get that. How does I leave? Wait, no, I can just leave, right? I should be able to. Leave. Grab your coat. Okay, cool. Boom. Look coat on. Back, I wish I'd never Man, found you my are a pick. beefy cat. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back. I to still the want to. Oh, all like hell was about to break loose. Right <sighs> oh, hell was about to break loose, huh? So I decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Yale, I think Yale was the dog on the poster? The boxing dog? Pitbull, maybe? I can't remember. I'm not good with names. I think they said Yale dipped out. Sonya right? and Jake had already searched the place to no avail. Maybe we'll have better luck, huh? I'll snap. Oh. Wait. Oh. Where? Oh. This. Oh, Jesus. This. I might have to change controllers because mine is janky. I can. I can't. There we go. But a good detective would have better luck. I know it might oh. not seem like it, but. Oh. 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 Hey, you still up? Oh, hey. 
Nope. When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. Yeah. It's only fair to show some gratitude. The whack of whack. Dang. Well, well. Oh, long time no see. Great. You again. You With another revolver. did it. You ruined my life. But trust me, you'll pay for this. You seem to be fine. My partner is sleep. Sleep. Sleep what? Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. You guys really don't seem to hold your own for big guys like you. I'll snap. Now. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. How about talk. this? Oh, never mind, bro. <laughs> There's a wrong answer. I'm gonna give it to you with this club. Deal? Hmm. Can't we just talk about it, dude? Couldn't we just talk it out? Wrong answer. Okay. First, well, second question. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to, what is that? I'm looking for Bobby Yale. Why are you going to hit me? What's that? Whoa, what am I doing? Huh? I don't understand what I'm doing here. Okay, so eyes, ears, and nose. What? It keeps telling me something for a second here. Oh, navigation zoom. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh. It should start to swell any moment now. Oh, that's nice. Okay. What else we got? Oh, oh. We got some out dependent. A shamrock? Shamrock. Is he Irish? Okay. Well, I see some. It looks like he came from like a casino or something. Okay. Um. I think that's it. Let's back out. Seriously, what the hell are you doing here? Uh. What's that? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell. Maybe, right? maybe not. Desmond O'Leary. Sorry for the dogs if you guys if can hear them in the background. City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. Uh huh. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. <laughs> After being strapped onto wrong a chair and answer. beat. But I was wrong. Oh yeah, there you go. One more time. What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for Bobby Yale. I'm a private eye. Sonia Dunn hired me to find Bobby Yale. I um, hate detectives. Hey, I answered your question. That hurt. Alrighty. Let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? I just told you. Uh, I swear I'm a detective. And I swear I hate detectives. Jesus. <laughs> God dang it, man. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> okay. I know your friend Colbert and his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right, then. He's all yours. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. Okay. I'll snap. You'll be sorry for what you did to me, pal. I'm sure I will. Desmond, we caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by background. Dunn's daughter. Am I going to be out of the chair when I come back or something? Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. Oh. 
I was really hoping that maybe I beat him up. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. Larry's <laughs> <laughs> men guard Yale's apartment. Okay. Good to know. Oh, shoot. Did it freeze it? What's going on? Okay, got a little couple marks and bruises, but they didn't look too bad. Back here again. With the lockpicks, I hope. And I guess this would be a good time to cut it off for now. And we'll look more into it and figure out what's going on later down the line and see who possibly killed it if it was a suicide. We'll never know. I'll see you guys though in the next video.